Hey guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Chris. The Joker trailer was just released. CinemaCon is currently going on in Las Vegas. They did treat those people to a sneak peek at the movie, and they were gracious enough to let the trailer land online the very next day. What I'm going to be doing here is breaking down the trailer for you, explaining things that you might not have known about this project, but mainly just gushing over it because this trailer has turned me around on this project. So let's just go ahead and dive into it. So very first thing, they let us know this character's name, Arthur Fleck, who's going to be played by Joaquin Phoenix. It is going to be a very different take on the Joker than we're used to, but you also have to remember there is no definitive origin story for the Joker. There is a preferred one, we'll get to that in a sec. But from this shot, it looks here like he's doing some counseling right now. And this movie has been set to touch upon mental illness and its effects. From there, we do get some shots of him walking the streets of Gotham. Now, this is Gotham City where the movie's taken place, and this is years before little Bruce Wayne gets his parents killed and Batman becomes Batman. We really shouldn't expect to see him in the movie. There might be little hints and stuff here and there to Wayne Enterprise, but I don't really think we're going to get a Bruce Wayne cameo. Next couple shots, we have him talking about his mother, telling him that he should always put on a happy face. To me, it looks like she is going to have a mental illness from the start, that her mind or state of body is starting to degrade, and hell, it could even be something hereditary, because if you look at Arthur Fleck's body, it looks kind of sickly and like he's dealing with something. But props to Joaquin Phoenix, man, for getting his body in that condition, because he's that type of actor to dedicate to a role, so he did this all to himself. And then here we get him writing some jokes down now like I said there is a preferred storyline for the Joker origin and one of those is where he's a failed stand-up comedian there's a comic book run where he's just a regular guy trying to make it in the stand-up world however every time he goes on stage he gets booed he gets laughed off and he has a wife and child so he needs some extra money since his career is not really taken off in the comedian world that's when he decides to join forces with the mafia of Gotham City becoming the Red Hood and a lot of you fans know the rest of that origin story but pretty interesting little tidbits that he's getting some jokes out right here I mean at one part you can see the worst part of having a mental illness is now this could him either be like I said talking about his mother or he knows it's something that's already been passed on to him and that he's dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis which is why he's in counseling he has some pills right next to him and later in the trailer we see him visiting Arkham again another quick shots of Gotham City I love the Tim Burton Gotham City I was hoping it would go for a little more of that aesthetic but this is more of a real world situation also set in an alternate reality period piece and it looks like his current job with his mental illness all he can really do is be a clown holding a sign on the streets from there we do see him get bullied and taken advantage of by some thugs on the street now this is what kind of worries me because as much as i love the joker and everything like that i hate when they try to make us sympathize with the villain when they make us care for him and feel like he's a person too and he should be cared for the joker is a sick demented man i'm not really trying to sympathize with him or fall under his good grace so it looks like the movie is definitely going to try to play up that fact and get you caring for Arthur. I hope they can use it to their advantage to where by the end we agree this is a maniacal crazy man and not a misunderstood bad guy that Batman shouldn't really beat up. Again, more shots of his sickly looking body. Looks like he's not getting well fed. But also you want to notice the parallels of him and Batman here because this is sort of his origin story to becoming his own hero. He sees that Gotham is a horrible place and in the comics that's what Gotham is supposed to be. A place that's just filled and filled with crime happening every second. And this is Arthur the Joker taking a look at that and realizing hey I can step up and be the savior of the city even if it means killing half the city Thanos style. Next few shots we do get some supporting cast members we have here Zazie Beetz a great actress you might know her from Deadpool 2 who she played Domino. She's gonna be playing a mutual friend to Arthur but Arthur gets a little too close to her where she's like oh we just friends dude. We also got shots of Brian Tariq Henry who looks like he works at Arkham State Hospital and like I said this is him probably visiting his mother in the institution. It is at the point where his mother is starting to degrade and you can see him here probably constantly visiting her being by her side and her dying and him constantly getting beat up might be the breaking straw of what gets him full joker mode because there's not going to be any toxic chemicals he's not going to fall into a bat of them this is more of a mental snap that turns him full joker also loving here we get little hints of what his laugh is going to be and if you watch every laugh in this trailer it's distinctly different so he hasn't pinned down his most iconic laugh that we're going to hear in this movie but like we saw earlier he is writing jokes down so this might be him at the comedy club waiting for his turn to go up and probably just him admiring people who do it better than him also loving this shot because it's iconic with the joker just smile and he is having a hard time in his life right now with his mother sick people beating him up not being successful in this comedy is forcing the smile on him this is just a great visual for me of the mindset of the joker this right here when he's laughing for the final time i think when his straw is being currently broken and then again is going to get bullied by some people in gotham city i'm thinking these people are not going to make it out of that train 
running alive because the next couple shots are Arthur running away from the scene like he's running for his life. Not that he's being chased, but that he did something bad. And then you see him in his bathroom all beaten up, makeup kind of smudged, like he just went through a battle with those guys and he's realizing what he did just made Gotham a little safer by killing some of the thugs in it. This will be the stepping stones Joker goes through throughout the movie to make Gotham a better place. We see him have a gun at one point in this trailer. His idea is to use it on the mayor of Gotham, blaming all the crime on him. There are some rumors that the current mayor or the mayor that's going to be running up next is Bruce Wayne's father, Thomas Wayne, and that's how they'll integrate the Batman story into this movie. Other than that, we just get shots here that guarantee us that Joaquin Phoenix is most likely going to get some sort of Oscar recognition. Just the movements of this character is just unsettling, but really fits in line with the Joker. We also see here what looks like uh, Robert De Niro, who's playing some sort of late night talk show host, and the Joker's going to be showing up to do an interview. This is probably after he's built some traction, has done some bad in the city. Hell, he might even be running for mayor himself as sort of a play on something that happened in the old Batman TV series where he ran for mayor against Batman. And then, of course, we get those final shots of Joaquin Phoenix in full Joker getup. I love the outfit. I was hesitant on the makeup, but for this movie and the way it's all setting up, I really dig it. Honestly, with my thoughts on this trailer, it just turned me around on the project because I'm not a big fan of these solo villain movies. I think a lot of times what makes a villain interesting is when you put them up against their hero and have that battle. It's not really just a solo story that makes you sympathize with the character, care for him, feel bad for him, and then the next movie when he finally does fight the hero, we're supposed to not care because he's just supposed to be pure evil. But man, they really got me hooked. I'm gonna see this for sure now and Joaquin Phoenix, you got my vote for Oscar recognition because this man is putting in work. So let me know what you guys thought about this Joker trailer. Are there any things you picked up on that I didn't see? Any speculation or theory of what's going on in this movie? Happy to hear your thoughts down below. Be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at 3C Film Review. As always, I'm Chris. Take care.